Thank you, Dancy. We'll be back with you in just a moment. So how is your Christmas shopping coming? Yes, I'm talking to you at home. How is your Christmas shopping going? Have you checked off that hard to buy for relative yet? Apollo Career Center just might have the perfect suggestion for every name on your list. Let's head back to Dancy as she talks about the upcoming Apollo Craft Show. Well, one of the fun ways to shop through the holidays is with craft shows. And joining me now is Tasha Scheipline. And Tasha is um, here to talk about the Apollo Craft Show that um, is always a big one. And this is an annual event, but something's changed this year, hasn't it, Tasha? Well, um, about two years ago, we had to stop the craft show because of our very large construction renovation project that's happening at Apollo. Yes. Um, and fortunately, construction has progressed to a point where we were able to actually bring it back a year early this year. So Great. we're really excited about that. Very good. What date is this? Um, it's December 5th. Okay. And the show will take place from 9 o'clock until 3 uh, p.m. that afternoon. Very good. And there is just a small admission to get in, right? Um, it's a $2 admission and all the proceeds from the craft show, from the admission and also from the vendor's booth, go to benefit our students and their career tech organizations. So those things, uh, well, the proceeds will help to pay for um, things like our, our study trips and field trips and different hands-on experiences that the kids have throughout the community. Which is really what Apollo's all about. So definitely. Yeah, that's really neat. Well, I know you brought some of the crafts and this is just some because how many vendors actually come to uh, set up? Well, we anticipate about 150 vendors wow. um, that we have this year. And one of the things that we pride ourselves on with our craft show is that we require that all vendors have homemade items. Yes. So I just brought a few examples of, okay. of some of those homemade items um, that will be that will be there from our local vendors and artisans all around our community. Very good. So let's sh let's show some of those then. Well, I brought um, this is a favorite for our Ohio State fans. So if you oh. if you've got a little Ohio State oh. fan, you've got you know some cute little items like this, and this here's even a handmade baby blanket in those Ohio State colors. Mm -hmm. um, these are two of my favorites. It's, it's an adorable little stocking stuffer, but also there's a little uh, Hershey bar secret surprise in there. So I thought these were some, some cute items that a vendor oh, had created. Very nice. Uh, is this painted, the snowman's face? Um, I'm not sure if it's painted or if it's actually printed on, on, the on paper, there. Huh? Yeah. That's neat though. Very good. Uh, the one thing that is very, very popular that I'm seeing a lot of people out wearing are these boot cuffs. Yes. So um, she had fingerless gloves and these boot cuffs that go with your, your higher winter boots just to add a little bit of fashion yes. um, to your look. So just a, an example of all the wonderful things that people have to look forward to at the craft show. Yeah, so these are um, just some of the items, but again, they become even more extensive when um, we're talking about decorating our homes as well, right? Oh, sure, I mean, decorations, we have baked goods, um, there's always, uh, homemade noodles, homemade pies, just so much variety of, of things that you can have for uh, personal or for gift giving. Which reminds me, you know, food is always a draw. Is there going to be, um, you know, are there any foods that will be offered there for lunch or a snack or anything? Or? Um, yes, there we have an open cafeteria during that time and okay. we have a lot of homemade sandwiches, homemade soups. Um, usually we have pies and, and um, drinks as well um, there that are offered at the cafeteria. Very good, especially for the guys if they need to take a break while the women shop. That's, exactly. always, a, that's always a treat. So um, this year is also a little different in that um, the space available seems to have improved as well, right? Yes, we have, we have some new additions to Apollo, some, some whole new wings, so we're able to utilize those classrooms. Some, our hallways are a little bit larger, so that's gonna give people a little bit of space. Um, to move around. And one thing that I think has is, is, uh, been on a lot of people's mind is just coming into Apollo and seeing the renovations that have already been made. So it's kind of a win-win. You get That's a shop true. for your, your homemade gifts and get some things checked off your Christmas list. And also you get to get a sneak peek at what Apollo has to offer with, with all of our new improvements. That's true. Now for anyone who wants to come, um, you know, one of the questions um, typically asked is, is there enough parking? Yes, parking is um, certainly available. We have uh, parking in the back of the building, 
We have it on both our north and our south side and also in the front of the building. Much of that parking lot is paved. There is still some gravel area where we're still um, doing some improvements, but parking is completely around the building. There will also be three entrances. And those will be on the one on the side, one in the front, and one in the back so that there'll be easy access for our, our clients and our customers to come in um, near where they've parked. Okay, and if you see anything that you love, um, will most of the vendors take um, cash check and credit cards or? Um, yeah, all of our vendors have different capabilities as far as what payment that they accept. Um, okay. We usually do encourage our, our customers to bring cash or a check because those are, are more widely accepted by the vendors. Okay, wonderful. Well, again, the Apollo Craft Show, Saturday, December 5th from 9 until 3 p.m. Yeah. All right, thanks so much, Tasha. Thank you. All right, back to you, Jen.